Hello and welcome back to Prima Fasci. Right now we're going to go over how to create a new contact. Uh, so the first thing you need to know is there's a couple of places you can create a new contact from. Either here on the main page, you can click this icon, or you can go to contacts on the menu and click new here. Uh, you're probably just going to do this. So let's go to new contact. And the two required fields are first name and last name. So let's do Leonard. And let's do uh, this, but let's give a capital H for Hofstadter. Okay. Uh, this other information here, for the purposes of creating the contact, is optional. Although if you fill it in here, it's going to be used uh, for autofill purposes. So um, we'll just leave that blank for now. Uh, except a couple things. Uh, let's give him a date of. Oops. There we go. And that, and we'll give them a social security number as well. Okay. Uh, once you fill in the relevant information, also notice that here's where you're going to track priority dates. So let's say that he's an immigrant and he's got a family petition date of January 1st of uh, 1992. And let's say it's from Mexico. Let's say he's a Mexican, and we'll say it's category F1. All right. Let's click here to add or edit. And this will add the contact. Now you'll see some of the information we filled in, some of it we didn't. We can always go back here from the contact page, okay? And under Info, General, we can edit. We have the chance to go fill in any of that information that we want to autofill. From here, uh, you'll see that we have addresses. This is where you would add an address for him. Of course, that's very important. You can put a label on it if this is his home. Whoops. And we'll say he lived there since 1998. Let's say he lives there now, so we'll leave that blank. We'll just give him a made-up address here. Let's say it's an apartment. And let's put him in Pasadena, California, and a made-up zip code. Okay. We'll add that. When you create the address, it's automatically going to take this first address you create and make it the mailing address and also the physical address. So if you want to change that, let's add another address and we'll just call this a mailing address. And we're not going to put a date there. We're just going to put and let's say it's a suite. It's also in Pasadena. Make a zip code. And there we go. Now we have two addresses to choose from. So we could make this one the mailing address. Now, in any forms that we create, this will show up as the mailing address for that. We can keep track of this person's previous addresses here. We can keep track of any of their phones. Uh, if they have multiple phone numbers, you're at least going to want to add one. Let's say this one's a mobile phone number. Oops. Let's put that there. We're going to give it a name. Cell phone. You can add other notes like the best time to call. So let's say 9 a.m. and ask for his mom. Or you could say this is his aunt's phone number. Number. Okay? Just put any notes there if there's an extension. Anyways, you add that there. And similar concept. You want to make sure that you define this as a mobile number or a home number or something so that, uh, so that the system knows where to use this phone number. So it knows now to use it as a mobile number and as a home number. You can also keep track of their previous jobs, educational history. You can look up their I-94 history from the Border Patrol website here. Uh, and you can keep track of any custom fields you have. Now, once you've created the contact, you can also add a picture. So let's choose, uh, let's choose Leonard. And here we go. You can just center that. If you want to resize it and make it bigger or smaller, you can do that. That looks good. So we're going to upload that. Now it's uploaded. Now, if, uh, if this is something where you have a picture, but it's sideways, you can rotate it using these arrows here. Okay. No need to do that. Let's put them back. 
uh, from this tab here for this contact on the contact page, you you can create new contacts to link to Leonard, or you can link an existing contact. Let's link an existing contact, Sheldon Cooper, and we'll just say it's other. We'll click link. And now when you go to related contacts, you'll see Sheldon Cooper listed there. Now, by doing that, you can go to, uh, let's create a case for Leonard. And we're using a case type. Let's just make it an I-130. And petition for alien relative. Click add. Because we've related Sheldon to Leonard, you can now use either of those individuals to fill the roles on the forms that you create for Leonard. So here we can choose Sheldon or Leonard. Nobody else in the system is going to show up here unless you've linked them to the primary person on the case, who in this case would be Leonard. So let's make a G28 for Sheldon and a G28 for Leonard. You'll see the system's going to be moving along here to update the roles and to autofill those forms right away. We can confirm that that worked by going here, and you can see that, yes, in fact, his name is now populated along with uh, his A number, phone numbers, etc. Okay, so that's how you create a new contact inside of PrimaFasci.